morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be, we are back and better than ever. I got lost in the music. I didn't do my intro uh, uh, soon enough, but I don't care because I have found what I'm looking for and you have too. We have found higher level mathematics. Let's get to it, shall we? Solution to exam jam number three. We have a rectangle drawn around a sector of a circle. And the angle of the sector is one radian. So right here, that angle is one radian. And the area is seven centimeters. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. And this is going to be to the nearest millimeter. Don't forget that. You will lose an easy point. We know that the area of a sector is given by one-half theta r squared, where theta is in radians. Booyah! They gave it to us in radians. Therefore, we know that 7 equals one-half times 1 r squared. r squared is going to equal 14. Root 14 is equal to r. So we know that this guy is equal to root 14. And more importantly... Well, I'm actually not more importantly, but more helpful right now is this is also a radius of the sector or the circle that contains the sector. And that is of length root 14. So boys and girls, we have one of our dimensions, and that is root 14 by something. And remember, this is in centimeters because they tell me that the area is 7 square centimeters and I have to go to millimeters. What to do, what to do. I'm going to draw another, uh, another line segment from here to here, which is just Wunderba. That's uh, uh, I believe that's Italian for uh, fantastic. So uh, with this, what I've done, drawing from here to here and here to here, that is perpendicular. So I have myself a nifty right triangle. I also have bisected the angle of the sector, so I know that this is equal to one half. I'm going to say this is triangle ABC, and we'll call this the length of the rectangle, and this is the width. And I think you'll agree with me that the width is equal to 2AB. Hopefully, you'll also uh, agree with me using uh, right triangle trigonometry um, that sine of AB is equal, nope, not sine of AB, sine of one half is equal to AB over root 14. So therefore, root 14 sine one half equals AB. Ayo, the width equals two times AB. So that means the width is equal to root 14 sine one half. And so we have our length and our width, but we have to give it to the nearest millimeter. So we got to go stop calculator time, which I've already done right here. And I know that root 14 is, okay, so let me go up here just to uh, finish my thought. Sorry. So this would be root 14 by 2 root 14 sine uh, 1 half. And now we're just going to do, and this is in um, centimeters again. So... This is 3.741 centimeters, which would be 37.4 millimeters rounded to the nearest millimeter. That means no decimals. That would be 37 millimeters by um, 3.58 centimeters is 35.8 millimeters rounded to the nearest millimeter. That would be 36 millimeters. How easy was that? What you do now is you open up your pocket and you put six points in there, baby! Way beyond the arc, you launched, you fired, and you hit not a three-pointer, but a six-pointer. Let's finish this out. See how Bono and the gang is doing, if they found what they're looking for. I doubt it, or he'd have nothing to sing about. These city walls, these city walls... Only to be with you, HL mathematicians and mathematics. I have found looking what I'm looking for, and therefore I am out! <laughs>